La 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 I put maybe a glass of water to do it, because you're gonna need some sauce. So we're gonna just shut this off. Just give me a second, watch my back. Excuse me about I'm just gonna need a, a glass. See a glass? I'm gonna fill it up with water. Because you know why I need water? Yeah. Because we're gonna put the dry pasta as it is, you know? So we're gonna do that. So. Now, we're going to we're going to do our first layer with uh, uh you know what this is not oven baked but it's okay that's it doesn't matter it's not oven ready it doesn't matter it will still cook believe me i tried this recipe before and it's fantastic so we're just going to layer this and then we're going to add our meat on top all right and do it like this like this and like this you know? Just like that, okay? That's it. All right? You see that? You see that? Just like that. And now we're gonna add our meat. Just give me a second. So now we're gonna add our little bit of meat on the top, on the bottom, just like that. You know? Doesn't have to be fancy, nothing fancy. Oh, like this. Like that. Just a layer of our meat. Maybe I could put a little bit more, a little bit of lasagna here. I'm missing one. But you can just put that on on there. Just like that. Just like that. So let's continue to put on our meat. Like that. Like that. I think maybe I'm gonna do like three stations. What do you think? Three stations, you know? Just like that, you know? So, so there you go. That's our first station, you know? It's not a half, it's not a lot of meat, but you can see, you see that? No, just like that, okay? So now, at this stage, we're gonna put like our mozzarella. See, our mozzarella cheese. We're gonna just put it on top, just like that. Just like that. You know? Just like that. So, put that over there. And now, uh, what else are we gonna do? So, now we're gonna do put more. We're gonna layer that like that, okay? Just like that. Like that. Like that. Whatever you want, you know? You know, whatever you want, just like this, and that, that, this layer, nice. Well, oh, maybe you put a little bit more on this side. Looks like it's chimangonobogo. So we're gonna just, I have a little gap there. So fill out your gaps, okay, like that. Okay. You see that? You see that? Just like that, see? Okay. And now we're gonna do another, another layer. So now you know what? We're gonna pat our sauce on top, just like this, just like that. Just a little bit of sauce, not too much. All right. Just like that. Okay. And now we're gonna add a little bit more meat. On top of this, mm. meat, just half, half the meat. And you know what? Now we're gonna, now we can do the other, uh, the ricotta after this. So, just a little bit of meat. And just like that. Just like that. Okay. And now, you know what? Let's add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. 
Red butter mozzarella cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, now we're gonna add. This stage, we're gonna add the. You see, we're gonna add the ricotta. Just gonna put that in the ricotta, just like that. Mm -mm. In the middle. Just like that. See? I can just. I can just taste this. It's gonna be so good, you know? And so on and so on. So now I add, see? I added the ricotta cheese. Look how lovely that looks. Just like that, you know? It doesn't have to be fancy, you know? Whatever, you know? Yeah, whatever, you know? Oh my gosh, sorry, I got something over here. Mm. So now we're gonna dress this up. We're gonna put more. Oh, yeah, that's it. I hope. That's why I buy two. Just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, you're gonna have to break the other one. So whenever you're doing a, a 20 by 12 pan, you're gonna need at least two. It's logical, isn't it? So let's do that. I already put like already. So I need like a couple more. Beautiful. No, 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 even broken, eh? So we're gonna put that there. Yeah. And that's it. So now at this stage, we're gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce on the top. Like this. You know, like that. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Alright. And now Let's fill it up with more meat. Mm -hmm. It's like now you're gonna have to put this in a in a 350 degree oven, and you cover for at least an hour until you know the pasta has to cook. It's still hard, man. I haven't cooked the pasta. It's only logical. So what's the qua? I'm going to la pasta e cruda, a tosta. So, ci mettiamo una bocca di acqua. E si cucina. Oh, e se che c'è rimasto? Questo la mettiamo di sopra. E mo ci mettiamo un po' di mozzarella. Eh, lots of mozzarella. On top. That's it. And I'm going to this for the top, okay? And then we should be okay. Yeah. And more, ci mettiamo l'altro. L'altro. See, you got it? We're gonna cover, cover it like that. Dude, this one's a little broken. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, a little bit more here. I need to make sure that it's all held up. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that everybody gets their fair share of meat. Meat, meat, meat. Yeah. So, so I think this is our last area. We got one, two, three, and four. Okay. And now we top it up with the rest of the, the meats. The tomato sauce. We're gonna just put some tomato sauce on there. You know, that's a tomato sauce. This is the last portion. I could make maybe one more. What do you think? Uh, I think we're gonna be okay. You know, all oh, this, lots of tomato sauce on top. Okay. That's it. Okay. See? Lots of tomato sauce. And that's, I hate things going to waste. You know? Like that. Now you know what we're going to do. We're going to have this parsley. Parsley on top. Fried parsley. If you have fresh one, it's really good. Or we're going to use dry. What do you think? Dry. So now at this point, we're just going to put, you know, we're going to 
I'm sure they have milk rice, but we're gonna add good water. We're gonna add water for this. So at the end, we're just gonna sprinkle the rest of this like that. Get on top. Mm -mm. And now it's on top. Just like this. See? Whatever. Sprinkle along. Okay, that's just like that. See? And now we'll see. Now we're gonna add the parmigiano, just like that, just like that, see, a little bit of the parmigiano, see, lots of cheese. And now we're gonna just stick it in the oven, okay? So now, what you gotta do is, now you gotta put water inside. This is my back. So now we're gonna put a little bit of water inside here. So, see, remember, we're just dealing with hard pasta. If it was cooked, it will be okay, but, you know, but we have no time to cook. Okay, so now we're gonna just connect it, see? Ooh, that is heavy. So you might wanna get some nice support. That should be fine. But if you find that this is heavy, then you know what? I'm gonna have to put maybe a pan, but my pan is too big, too small, sorry. So we're gonna do that. So, look at this. Doesn't that look beautiful? You know what? Look at this, look at this, look, just look at that. Look at that, look at that. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cover this. We're gonna cover that with aluminum foil, oven at 350 degrees. You know what? You have to check this, you have to, Take the four, take the, the aluminum four and lift it up and see if it's tender. If it's tender, you uh, take it out, the aluminum four, and you know what? You gotta let it brown for like, put it on your broiler for like maybe about 10 minutes, whatever. So like, I like to let it crusty on one top. So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna cover it. So give me a second. Hey, you know what? I think I should put a little bit of vino. No, the vino's not for there, it's for me. Ah. Salud. Mm. That's good wine. That's really good. Mm. Homemade. Mm. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to have to cover this. Okay. That's why it doesn't matter. Oh, I got grandma. Oh my gosh. You know, when she gives me stuff like, oh, she's actually cautious, you know. She's a metal loco, mamma mia. You know. But anyway, that's you're gonna need like two of them. See what I'm doing here? Yeah, if I can find, I hope I don't cut my finger. So, we're gonna cover this. And what you gotta do is, you gotta have like a little vent. So, we're gonna put, uh, oh, find like a knife or something. We're gonna put, like, maybe it's a good idea, put, put a little vent in there. Just to get the, the steam. You know? Okay, just like that, okay? So now, I'm gonna just set at 350 degrees, and that's it, that's all there is to it. It takes a lot of work to do the lasagna, but you know what? If you're home on a weekend, you know, you wanna do everything the night before, it's it's actually, take the opportunity, believe me, you know, pay it back. So, we're gonna put this in the oven, at 350, excuse my back. So as you can see, I just put it in the oven, and we'll let that sit for an hour, whatever. But you gotta have to check it for into the wall. So now, you see, I'm just checking it. You know what, it's, it's ready, almost ready. But you know what? Yeah, well, look at that, it looks so good. So we're gonna leave it for, in for a couple more minutes. And look at that stuff, eh? Look at this stuff. Oh man, I'm gonna taste it now. That's tired, huh? Excuse me, guys. I'm hungry. 
Stuff is good. Give it a try. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Thank you.